Hello, everybody. George Don the Workshop, a proud American. Well, here's my homemade garden tractor. There's that 820-024 uh, Peerless 6-speed. Uh, if you see my last couple of videos, I had it completely apart. I did new axle bearings in it. I did the new input bearings in it. Uh... The shift keys were absolutely junk in it. So I did the shift keys, cleaned it all out. I bought a quart of that bentonite uh, transmission lube, like $45, $46 a quart for that. But it's all back in. I had a problem. Uh, I could not get it into first, neutral, or reverse. And... I was not looking forward to taking this thing apart, splitting the cases and doing it all over again. What I did was, apparently, you right down in here, you've got that set screw, the spring and the ball bearing that goes on the shift shaft there that locks it into gear. Well, apparently, all I did was I loosened that set screw all the way and I shifted the shifter, put it about halfway, tightened it down, perfect. Apparently I had it all one way or I had it the other. And when I did that, the ball, it wouldn't allow this lever here to shift all the way back. It wouldn't go back. So that's it, it's all done. It works perfectly. It's never run so smooth. Uh, with the gear lube, the bearings, the shift keys, uh, I got about a hundred and a half in it. Although, let me tell you, when I buy my bearings, I buy my bearings on eBay. I did not buy just a bearing. I buy a tube of ten. So I've got extra bearings in the bearing box in case I ever need them. But, uh, it's good. I'll tell you what I didn't realize was... These are pretty good size tires on here. Uh, those are four-wheeler tires I bought brand new. These tires are completely filled with windshield wash. I think there's about 10 gallons of windshield wash per tire. And then I've got about 100 pounds of cast iron on each wheel. My God, I did not realize <laughs> how heavy those were. Just putting the wheels on and tightening the wheels down before I had to load the cast iron weight. But there it is. It's all done. So if you ever have one of these apart and you got a problem with shifting like that after you get it all back together, put your shifter about halfway and then tighten, you know, loosen that set screw in there and the ball will hop into place and then you tighten it down and you're good to go. Boy, I'm glad I didn't yank that thing all apart because if I'd taken that transaxle back out, pulled the pulley, and uh, I glued that thing really good with the silicone, I cleaned the cases all up with acetone and everything. Here's another little trick that I learned to do. I've had wheel horses for many, many years. These pulleys here, this is about a 10-inch pulley. This is a pretty good pulley for what it's made to do. However... If you ever have to pull this pulley off, I see more guys putting pulley, uh, putting pullers on there and bending the pulleys. I see guys taking a shaft and driving it down, whacking the transmission while holding on to this thing. I'll tell you what I did. This is just a half-inch bolt, a half-inch lock nut. What I had done was I put a half-inch nut right down here, and I welded it onto there. So if I ever have to take this pulley off, which I had to when I rebuilt this transaxle, you take the two set screws loose underneath, you back off this lock nut here, and you just tighten this bolt down, and you got a built-in puller. It comes right off. So uh, I've done that on all, on all my wheel horses, and it, it's really helped. So that's it, everybody. Well, that's what I've done for the last several days and that was my little oversight 
and my fix here for that it not shifting into those gears so all right everybody have a safe day have a wonderful day it's gonna be about seven in the high 60s i'm gonna be on my bike my amanda all day tomorrow all right everybody see ya